but damn they got like 10 curbside spots i've never seen any place with 10. this is jack allen's kitchen i think is what it's called jack allen's kitchen i got tacos chips and salsa and a side salad with ranch dressing i'm just in awe how busy this place is holy shit i've never been here before i didn't know it was this popular i mean they have multiple locations but damn truth be told i'm getting tired of tacos so i'm not even really looking forward to this that much i was it's like i've been meaning to come here i've been meaning to do this and now that i finally have it's like you know what i actually had tacos for lunch awesome we got your side of sour cream in there for you okay thank you my pleasure have a great night thanks I was literally right about to vlog about how long I was waiting and then they came out. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put this in my bag. I got back to the apartment right before the thunderstorm started happening. So let's check out the food from Jack Allen's Kitchen. Another Austin taco spot. Call it a taco spot, but here's the side salad. Kind of, um, it looks better in the screen of the camera than in real life. Ooh, yellow. Okay, you just got some extra points for a yellow tomato. This was kind of cold. I'm gonna have to microwave it. Tortillas on the side. They're really small. I mean, really small. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they're really small. Green chili pork with a side of rice and black beans. Not bad. Taste the cilantro, which is like not my favorite thing in the world. Came with guacamole. I asked for sour cream, ranch dressing for the salad. I ordered chips and salsa. They came in these like factory plastic bags. This is the salsa. And then I got a kid's quesadilla with the biggest side of ketchup I didn't even ask for. The fries are not bad. Quesadilla is barely warm, gotta heat it up. Even though I use that. So, so sadly this fresh food is gonna have to see the microwave before I eat it, but it might be good anyways. So I tried the ranch dressing a little bit while I'm microwaving the good stuff. It is a very... Pretty runny texture for a salad dressing, which I'm not having salad, I'm having french fry. It's pretty flavorless. Doesn't taste like garlic, doesn't taste like herbs, doesn't taste like salt. Yeah. That's a good stuff, but... Let's taste test a little bit more. Plastic bag chips from a restaurant. Hallway party. Can I show this without it just spilling? Not my favorite salsa I've ever had. <laughs> First I just, like, it's really chunky. First I just got raw onion, then it was like smoky and a little spicy. All right, what better way to discuss moving out of Texas than with a taco mukbang? This is one of the worst salsas. 
if you like smokiness and onion and stuff, maybe you'd like it. I'm just like, wow. I do not like that salsa. And while I'm at it, some water and the fries. Zoom feature is not supported when I'm filming with like the front of the camera where I can actually see what I'm doing. So it kind of sucks to film like this, but it is what it is. These black beans are actually pretty damn good. There's just a lot of stuff in this rice. It tastes like just random. It doesn't really taste like a recipe. Corn, cilantro, tomato, just like thrown in it. Quesadilla, kids meal. That's why I came with fries. Ooh, and the salad with a yellow tomato in the flavorless ranch dressing. I mean, the, the ranch dressing literally has no flavor. Like, a fast food restaurant has better dressing. Some of them have better salads, honestly. I think Whataburger's side salad is better than this. They're cabbage, lettuce, a couple little tomatoes, a couple little cucumber. No carrots. Green chili pork tacos. Not much in the way of flavor or texture. I mean, I hate to say it, but like... Like, the vast majority of fast food restaurants have better tacos. Black beans are awesome. Other than the black beans, like, nothing else here. Nothing else here. The fries are decent. I take that back. I've said it before <clears throat> in an earlier mukbang, I'll say it again. I think people here are like really satisfied with places that are just not that good. Like this place has a lot of locations. Taco Shack has seven locations. Veracruz All Natural has a ton of locations. Taco Deli has a ton of locations. Like they're not that good. There's one more place besides this that I was gonna try. Lost True Costs. I'd have to go to 35 and take that to 
7th Street or Cesar Chavez or somewhere around there. This pork is really like chewy. I thought it would be like tender and braised. It's like totally not. It's like these pieces, they're not tender at all. It's almost like um like a poorly cooked pork chop. It's like I thought it was like braised with green chili and it was just like I don't know what they did. It's like not good. Yeah, I'm not going to miss any of the Mexican food here, honestly, when I leave Texas. It's not that good. It's so overhyped. I think the prices here are fair, though, so I will be positive about that. But it's just not that good. The lighting is really bad. It's like probably 8 at night at this point. There's a thunderstorm, so it got dark. So, my job search has sucked. Like, I got rejected from, like, two or three more places in, like, the past week. I'm just like, damn. So, not only was I bracing myself for the vaccine effects, but I had to, like, deal with that too. I was like, damn, that's been a crappy week. I need to cheer myself up or something. <laughs> But at least I'll be fully vaccinated by the time I leave. So I don't have to be as concerned about movers coming in or anything like that. Driving across the country or however the hell I'm going to do it. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Today is what, the 28th? I've got until the 11th to figure it out. I'm leaving. Like my lease expires on the 12th. So I have to like pretty much move out by the 11th. So I could be out by like 9am on the 12th. I don't know where I'm going to go. Like, I have nothing but uncertainty about the future, but I know, like, no way am I staying here. I mean, it's all you need to know. People like certainty. I'm no different than anyone else. I wish I had a job lined up. I wish I knew where I was going to go. I have no on I have no certainty, but I mean I have certainty about the present. Like I know things have been nothing but fucked up here. Like I know my allergies are horrible. The weather makes me overheat. Half the year it sucks to be outside. It's like not a good job search landscape for entry level people. It's too competitive. And like w with like how poorly accepted like basic precautions with the pandemic is like having a customer service job would be a disaster. Because who's going to get stuck with the medical bill, you know, like if you're immunodeficient, it's like not a good thing. I've got enough complications of that without any extra infection on top of my sinus infection. As I've mentioned in previous videos, there is no treatment for selective IgA deficiency. So your mucous membranes are just vulnerable, period. 
So living somewhere where, like, nobody follows precautions is, like, a pretty bad place to be. But I came here before the pandemic. Didn't know that was going to happen. I don't need to know what's up ahead to know, like, no more of this. I don't know why I keep eating that salsa. I don't like it. There's so much of it though. <laughs> I think that like this was a good price for the portion size. It's no more expensive than going to a fast food place. Like no more expensive than like Veracruz All Natural, Taco Shack. Like the prices were fair. But man, I really don't like this salsa. I'm gonna keep eating it though. The salsa is kind of like the rice. It doesn't even taste like a recipe. It just tastes like people threw stuff in it. And I think that's their idea of fresh. It's just... Mm, flavors don't work. I'm trying to think of a way of describing this meal. This is just going to sound harsh. Like, I'm just going top chef on this. I know most mukbangers are like, this is the best thing I've ever eaten. It's like a McDonald's french fry or something. Like, I don't know. I know how to cook. I'm tougher to impress. This is like a meal where like if you had like a middle school culinary program where you're like, these kids know how to cook. I think they'd come up with this. Where it's like, yes, you do know how to cook, but you don't know how to create good flavors, good recipes. You know how to cook, but the recipe, mm. Let's get rice and just throw in some corn and throw in some cilantro. Now it's Mexican food. It's like, I've got this guy's cookbook. I made the cheese grits from it. That was another video that I never ended up uploading because I did such a crappy job filming it. Jack Allen's Kitchen. If you go to Half Price Books, they've got like a huge section in the cookbooks for just Texas cooking. Which obviously like in other states they don't in Texas. There's a ton of Texas cookbooks. So I got it. The cheese grits were awesome. All this other stuff though, I'm like, what the fuck? Like this is like a famous top chef, like what? I'm gonna look in the book for like a black bean recipe. Like I would make this better than the black beans I had for lunch that I made myself.
so given how like everything had like a weird flavor or tef I don't know. So like the recipes were not the best, but it seems like they executed everything perfectly. This might be a good place to get a burger. Cause it's not like a recipe kind of thing. That ranch dressing though, man, it has no flavor. I don't even know why I put it on the salad. Cause it's like, it doesn't do anything for it. In case you're like, hey, maybe nothing has flavor because you have the coronavirus. Like, I could fucking taste the cilantro and the rice. I could taste that. <laughs> I just don't want it to spill. Not because it's so delicious that I want every drop. I just don't want it to spill on my bed. I'm just knocking it at this point. So this actually was like a very good price for like the entree and the chips and salsa. <clears throat> the kids quesadilla I think was the best thing I ordered. No complaints about anything with it. The fries were actually better than the chips or the rice. Black beans were good. Um. As far as the side salad goes, you would be better off with Whataburger because you'd get carrots and the ranch dressing has flavor at Whataburger. Yeah, that's pretty much how it's been the whole year and a half where it's like they're known for tacos, like this place is known for tacos and it's like, you know what, this is worse than the random place I live down the street from. So it's like, I don't know why the tacos are so hyped. People are really satisfied with places that are not that great. Now I gotta clean up and. Hmm. What time is it? 8 40 p.m. What a late dinner. Yeah, everything tastes better when it's 8 40 p.m. and you are starving. So, um. Yeah.